like to discuss about the solar photovoltaic the ultimate prospect for carbon free energy generations you can see that the how solar photovoltaic is significant in the uh, clean sky bright sky with the sunlight so here the solar photovoltaic is the ultimate carbon free energy prospect what is the necessity of solar photovoltaic you know that the key problem of the planet is the fossil fuel as energy source is depleting very faster with respect to its generation and due to this uh, fossil fuel uses uh, the carbon dioxide level is actually tremendously increasing in the environment it is about 16 million tons per 24 hours then due to this carbon dioxide the global temperature may rise even 4 degrees celsius by 2100s and the sea level may also rise significantly that is very much problematic for the human civilization so the trend of carbon dioxide increment for the last two decades if you see here it is very significantly increased since 1990 and after 2000 is very significant and now it is in the alarming stage so these are the different sectors that uh, contribute to the uh, global uh, greenhouse gas emissions in the power sectors actually 21 percent contribution of greenhouse gas emission that can be mitigated by utilizing the solar photovoltaic or other renewable energy technologies so you know that the renewable technology actually classified two stages they are the natural and non-natural or industrial development as hydro as natural uh, generation prospect non-hydro as uh, uh, windmills and the solar photovoltaic you can see that since 2006 the non-hydro contribution was very very less but it's tremendously increased since 2006 until 2019 and now it is almost a similar level of hydro non-hydro why because the industrial development of solar photovoltaic and windmills actually can expand it all over the world to mitigate the power supply as a renewable technology and it can also mitigate the carbon emission problem so in that case solar energy can contribute almost 52 percent of the visible band energy that can be converted into electricity by application of solar photovoltaics rest infrared or uv actually the heating prospect we are not considering that but in that case the material that uses for the solar photovoltaics you can see that the materials as silicon, cadmium telluride, CIGS, and amorphous silicon. How the, those inorganic materials contribute to cover the solar spectrum. So it can eventually transfer the light into electricity. In that case, the P and N junction materials that are connected to the external load due to the application of light it can continuously flow current that means from the light it eventually convert into electrical energy and provided to the load power so in that case the materials in the active cell that how the whole you can see here and it externally collected by the external circuit or load and eventually it is very effective for transformation of light into electrical energy so here you can see that the back surface field silicon solar cells with the diffuse junctions uh, emitter how it is effective to generate the electricity as a primitive cell and in that case that how the electron and hole transfer to the external load you can see here visually or graphically that how it is effective to generate electricity from light these are the light interface so in that case the material that choice for this uh, solar photovoltaic development you can see here the silicon is the topmost priority because it can be more efficiently transfer the light into electricity the rest carbon dye carbon uh, cadmium telluride gallium arsenide indium phosphide and the others also can be contributed so in that case whenever it is the dark you can see that there is no current whenever it is in the light or sunlight then it's significantly or marked variation of current density due to the transformation of light into electricity so it eventually can provide the external power in that case the currently different solar cell use in the industries uh, their priority actually the silicon is almost 93 percent that um, mostly in the polycrystalline 
and the rest are crystalline silicones and then there is a little contribution now in the thin film solar cell like cadmium telluride cigs and amorphous silicon and the rest is the organic material based synthesized solar cells are actually progressing fast for this development in the industry and the cost efficiency issue is the significant for this developed materials will be developed for the cost efficiency or cost effectiveness if the grain and quality of the active material is better definitely the cost should be higher if it is lower grain or polycrystalline or whatever first type definitely the cost should be lower but performance should be different so the cost efficiency trade-off is the best consideration for the design and development of solar photovoltaics if you think here that the material that we told before the crystalline silicon, indium phosphide, gallium arsenide, cadmium are the most significant. Why? Because here the light to operational energy gap is minimum here. Whereas the others, uh, the higher is materials, uh, those are crystalline perfection is very poor, even it is amorphous. So here the energy generation as an electrical energy from the optical energy is lower because the gap is huge. And if you consider the power attainment by the solar photovoltaic, you can see here the core attention of the current density. In case of crystalline silicon, CIGS, gallium arsenide, cadmium is the highest in this area. That power density or uh, current density is huge. But the other lower profile materials like organic materials, perviscite, all others actually still has greater bandage or energies, but the density of current is still that is the problem for the stability that the issue of cost versus efficiency trade-off and eventually you can see that the industrially developed panels or uh, modules that how utilize in the house to electrification of the house and this electrification perspective if you think the grid connected solar photovoltaic you can see here at the daytime the energy produced by the solar photovoltaic eventually passed through the converter and it uh, charging the batteries if battery charge is enough then it automatically regulate to transfer the energy towards the grid line during the daytime and night time whenever you require the power it must be provided by the batteries and if extra required then you can get it from the grid line so such arrangement it is very comfortable or very uh, take give and take uh, policies to provide the power naturally by your um, solar photovoltaics and it can be minimize your cost for the whole month or even years electric bills so in that prospect we can say that the solar photovoltaics actually is not the fashion it is actually survival prospect Thanks for your passion. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, everyone.